1988, Missouri, Hazelwood East High School. Principal Robert Reynolds leisurely plodded away at his paperwork after a long day of school. Finishing up for the day, half-tired, Reynolds reviewed one dissertation he'd been waiting for in particular, Spectrum, the school newspaper written by students in the Journalism 2 class. To his shock, it contained mentions of teen pregnancy, sex, birth, and divorce, with first-hand accounts of each to boot. Fearing the repercussions of publishing scandalous content, and due to the fast approaching deadline, he deleted two pages worth of questionable content immediately, saving himself the hassle of administrative complications that would come with delaying the school sanctioned stories. Satisfied, he headed home for the day, none the wiser to the panicked nation that would follow in his wake. An extension of the American people's values, the Supreme Court justices gathered together to begin meticulously weighing two sides of a contentious coin, Hazelwood School District versus Colmarier. Kathy Colmarier, along with two other students, felt as if their constitutional freedom of speech rights were in violation. Now you see, freedom of speech is proudly proclaimed by the First Amendment, but the First Amendment only applies to public forums. The military is an example of an institution where freedom of speech doesn't reign. Is school a public forum isn't the question here. It isn't. That was decided in Bethel v. Frazier when a student made sexual innuendos during a school assembly and was punished for it. The court's reasoning for their judgment being that, quote, children don't have the same First Amendment rights as adults, close quote. School faculty can limit students' exposure to information if it isn't suitable to their maturity level or it interferes with the main mission of American teaching. The deciding question of this case will be whether or not the school paper is considered a public forum. Hazelwood stated that it cannot be a public forum because the Journalism 2 class which wrote the paper is educational. Without that goal in mind, the school wouldn't have allowed a paper in the first place. Spectrum is routinely submitted to an advisor and reviewed by the principal. It isn't meant to spread the news, but to educate kids on how to write. Hazelwood also stated that the writing of a paper is part of the school curriculum, and as follows from Bethel v. Frazier, schools are allowed to regulate and enforce their own curriculums as they see fit. Another sticking point is one of school-sanctioned events. If somebody read an article that has the school signature on it, and the opinions or topics are unsavory, they could reasonably assume that it's the official stance of the school. This is different from Tinker v. Des Moines. In that case, a student wore black armbands to silently protest the ongoing Vietnam War, and the court voted in the child's favor, saying that students don't, quote, shed their constitutional rights of freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. Tinker v. Des Moines was a moment of personal self-expression, not a school signed and sold academic weekly. Kohlmeier argued against such centralizing school censorship. Even if Spectrum wasn't a public forum and therefore eliminated it from First Amendment benefits, it existing would not hamper prosaic scholastic functions. As was in Bethel v. Frazier, anything schools try to blacklist has to interfere with the education and discipline of the school body for it to hold ground. If writing dodgy papers counts towards the disruption of academic livelihood, then where do you draw the line? The curriculum will run smoothly without consideration towards Spectrum in any manner. In the students' opinions, nothing contained in the two cut pages brought about obscene or defamatory subjects, only discussion points pertinent to the student base. One way for positive change to be spread is by informing people of the issue. If there's a defunct schooling parameter, then it needs to be brought to the attention of the public body. The crux of Colmarier's argument is this. At the core of American democracy lies Socratic discussion, and if administrators wield power to cover up dissent rather than encourage meaningful and specific interactions, then that fundamental function of the USA is lost forever. Kohlmeier lost. Five to three votes.